World Without Visas, Around the World with Valieri Shannon. The campaign in the area of the St. Paul's Trail, from Pergi to Bersahir, came the next stage of the World Without Visas project, within which Valeri Shannon travels only around the countries visa-free for Russians. On this travel, his fellow traveler was Katya Klementieva. Turkey, St. Paul's Trail from Pergi to Baisehir. St. Paul has made several missionary trips across Europe for the purpose of a wide circulation of new belief. He also became the creator of Christianity as a new world religion. In 2008, the Englishwoman Kate Clue has laid a tourist trail which passes across those places which St. Paul has visited during the first missionary trip to Asia Minor. The trail runs along the St. Paul's ancient roads, on paths of the timber trucks, on footpaths and goat trails, in wilder and less populated places than the well-known Lysian Way. Here, there are still little guest houses and restaurants focused on the service of pedestrian tourists. It is better to rely on oneself, to sleep in a tent and to cook food on a fire. Fortunately, water and firewood can be found in abundance. It is possible to go on the trail at all seasons of the year, but the most popular seasons, spring and fall. In the summer, it is too hot and in the winter, it is cold. Middle of April. Valeri Shannon and Katya Klementieva begin to travel near the ruins of the ancient city of Pergi. Already in summer heat, everything blossoms and the mulberry even ripens. We have our first Turkish tea of the year. It is necessary to drink it with sugar, although we usually drink without sugar. But the Turkish tea is drunk only with sugar, so it is more tasty. We snack on bread, everything is simple. First, it is necessary to go along the asphalted roads. Travelers cross the national park of Kursunlu and come to the river bank of Koprusai. Here, the marks are lost. Further, it is necessary to go straight to the north, to the settlement of Aksapinar. Somewhere behind it, there are the Wuchang Su waterfalls by which the track precisely passes. Locals suggest the short road. Okay, pass. And they not only advise, but also offer a ride. So many on the way. The contemplation of Kant, surely, about the meaning of life. The arms are too short. I wouldn't like to climb there. Well, it looks like you are not hungry. There are no visible marks from the trail yet, but judging by the map, the Wushang Su waterfalls should be somewhere upstream of the river. It is necessary to stay closer to its course, and the road is likely to go straight to the waterfalls. All locals know the Wushang Su waterfalls. They also undertake to show us the way. Soon, Travelers appeared and a personal guide. He didn't introduce himself and did not mention his name. He was guiding us so confidently 
as though he knew precisely where to go. Typical male. Wu Chang Su, a touristic place. They bring tourist groups to the waterfalls, but not by bus. They won't pass here. The road is too bad, but it suits perfectly for trips on ATVs. I did not let them take me. The river is shallow, it is easy to wade into the ford, but the crossing isn't smooth. Stones are wet and unstable. <laughs> What can I tell you? The water in the Po River looks clean in appearance. However, it is crude and you shouldn't drink it. Firewood can be found everywhere in bulk. It is not forbidden to make fire, even in reserves. It is time to take a short break for tea and at the same time to get dry. The first tea made in Turkey, wild. The Wu Changsu Waterfalls. Their name is translated as the Flying Water. A bright name, but not unique. There is a lot of falls with just the same name. And not only in Turkey. There are also Wu Changsu waterfalls in our Crimea, near Yalta. The pool at the bottom of the waterfalls breeds trout. Here at the restaurant, it is prepared on the grill. However, the touristic season hasn't begun yet. Therefore, the restaurant is closed. It is only preparing for the opening. At the waterfalls, the travelers at last manage to return on St. Paul's Trail. We do the fireplace. There are so many ants. It is good that we haven't put our tent. A steep climb begins on a pine-covered mountain slope, towards the ruins of the ancient city of Pernilis. The ancient road is paved with flat stones. It is now overgrown with forest. Whether St. Paul was in this city is not absolutely certain. But during his missionary wanderings, Pednilis did not just exist, it experienced its peak. In ancient times, just across these places was the border of Pamphylia and Pisidia. The neighboring countries often were at war against each other, and the city at the border was the first to come under attack. During one of these local wars, Pednilis was destroyed, and it never recovered. Even archaeological excavations are still not properly carried out. To a certain extent, this city isn't interesting to anyone. The ruins aren't fenced and are not protected by anybody. The admission is free. The bases and heaps of stones are scattered across the huge territory. The southern gate has remained part of a city wall and the northern gate. In 
the evening, the travelers found themselves on the bank of some anonymous river. The place is quiet and peaceful. There is no one to be seen in the morning, but it feels like this place has been inhabited for a long time, and housing can be found somewhere nearby. Otherwise, the cattle wouldn't wander so freely. Now let's go, and we will think where we should turn. On the St. Paul's Trail, there are a lot of sources. It is possible to drink the crude water, but it is better to boil it first, nevertheless. It is possible to kindle fires everywhere. It is only necessary to observe the fire prevention measures, at least to impose a campfire with stones, and of course, to extinguish the coals before leaving. Tea with salty nuts. We put out the fire because of the propitious conditions, not to leave a gift behind for people. А это что? Просто красное. Почему туда некуда? Налево-то есть. And this one is just red. There is something on the left and nothing on the right. What if we don't understand correctly? Вы же непонятны? I didn't get wet. <laughs> the trail passes through the Yazili Canyon, or in the translation into Russian, Canyon with the inscription. Here, on the rock, verses of the ancient Greek philosopher Epictetus are cut. In a word-for-word -word translation, they sound approximately so. Traveler, prepare and go travel. Only the person, free in the nature, can be free. His measure of freedom is defined only by the nature. In general, it is a question that it is better to be free than not to be. And if you are free, then it is necessary to travel and not to stay at home. It is along the canyons, and we have to go? We are on St. Paul's Trail. We will not get out. The pleasure is not for us. The trail climbers through the dense wood on nearly vertical cliffs. We got a steep part. The trail goes at 50 degrees up and you can't see where it goes. However, it is a pine forest and so we travel. We need to go there. <laughs> Why 
Why haven't they written that it is necessary to complete a rock climbing course? It is probably necessary. Where is the book for complaints? <laughs> the descent to the town of Sitla begins. From here, the St. Paul's Trail goes on the northwest towards Egirdir, and Valery Shannon and Katya Klemankieva turn on the northeast, but not because they got lost. According to the initial plans of Kate Clue, the track had to pass by the Lake Bay Sehir, further to Tarsus, St. Paul's homeland. But this side of the trail, so far, remains only a long-term plan. Valieri and Katya will go in the area where they plan to lay the next side of the St. Paul's Trail. The road goes through unpopulated places. Once there lived people, but now there is nobody. How to drink? The houses slowly collapse, homegrown apple trees gradually run wild. In St. Paul's Acts, it is written that on the way from Piergi to Yalvas, he went along the Aksu River and came into the city of Timbriada. In general, nothing has remained from this ancient city, but it is known that this city's main temple was at the entrance to the cave. It is possibly this one. The Zindan Cave, one of the local sites. The inside has been provided with lighting and the floor has been level and cemented. There is one more lattice, wow. The entrance to the cave is rather wide, but as we move deeper into the mountain, walls loom closer and closer. And then, it becomes a corridor so narrow that it can only be passed one person at a time. The cave is located at the height of 1,300 meters above the sea level. It is long, but it is almost horizontal. This gorge, canyon, The inclination is insignificant, 
The total length of the part of the cave open for tourists is 760 meters. But there are also closed areas that can only be reached with special equipment and skill. Already during the Roman era, this cave was used for carrying out religious ceremonies. Pagans worshipped the ancient god Eurymedon here, and early Christians hid from the prosecution of the authorities here. Later, near a cave, there was a monastery. Nobody knows exactly whether Paul the Apostle was in this cave. However, with high probability, it can be argued that yes. To the lake by Sahir is a straight line of 20 kilometers. Very short, but there is no direct road through the mountains. It is necessary to make a detour through a girdir. On the suburb of the town Sacricaragas, the national park of Kizildag begins. We caught a passing car. The driver is the owner of a restaurant. He invites us for tea and tries to explain us, in simple words, how to get to Baisehir Lake. Little meters, 70 meters, little. Then, stop is a car road, road, devam. Böyle. Buradan, e, Beyşehir Lake. Lake. Beyşehir Lake. Okay, mm -hmm. buradan, buradan, böyle. There is a road in the national park, but transport doesn't go on it. Why are you running? We should walk slowly. Travelers leave to the northwest corner of the Baisahir Lake and begin to move south along the west bank. In each village, locals invite us for tea. They help us to orient and to choose the correct road. They try to intimidate us with the difficulties expected ahead. The child claims, don't go there, go here. There are bears here? <laughs> <laughs> yes, 55. Where are we going? We are going to be here along the west coast. This way. Up here. Mountain. Mountain. It's good. Good. Problem. Good. Mountain is good. <laughs> But they also help, many carry us along the way, and not only by cars, in general, on everything that moves. The Baisahir Lake, the biggest freshwater lake of Turkey. It stretches on 45 kilometers from north to south and 20 kilometers from east to west. The maximum depth is 10 meters, but the coast is very shallow. The Baisahir Lake and its immediate surroundings are part of the national park. Hunting is forbidden here, but economic activity isn't limited. There are also quite exotic means of transport.
by Sahir, the largest city on the bank of the lake of the same name, and one of the oldest in this area. It already existed in the Middle Ages. In 1297, the mosque of Heshrefoglu was built with its madrasa and baths located in the neighborhood. The campaign on the St. Paul's Trail comes to an end in Baisahir, and the World Without Visas project continues. Ahead, new travels over the countries, visa-free for Russians.